make our wardrobes quirky those few pieces that we can have that we can wear and look a bit you know so out um, of the box. so quirky is very tiny border on between being stylish and look ridiculous right so when we're talking about looking quirky you have to define your style for yourself and amount of risk which you are happy to take with your fashion right so if for example i can go somewhere for an event today with my flamingo bag it's not necessarily where you're gonna feel comfortable by carrying the same bag right what defines quirky for me it's not necessarily quirky for you but something to start with i would say you can't go quirky if you're wearing white t-shirt and denim mm. uh, i mean jeans or denim skirt even if you're going to put the quirkiest shoes, it will continue to be classic look, upgraded, uplifted with the accessory. So for you to look a little bit quirky, you have to learn the game of mixing and matching. That's the first game. Okay. So introduce small prints into your wardrobe. More prints. More prints. It's number one tip, okay. right? So as soon as you're wearing something very classy, black skirt on, we're going to continue with the same part of denims but you're wearing, I don't know, a t-shirt which has Mickey Mouse on it. Just for a sample, right? And then for Mickey Mouse, you're wearing flower, flowerish, blooming, uh, I don't know, pair of shoes, right? This is a contrast you're gonna create, which gonna look like, hmm, what is she wearing, right? It's, it's crazy, it's quirky. But at the same time, it's on the level of comfortable zone for you, right? Find the print you like, and try to combine them. And the, the, the way of combining prints, it's usually by matching uh, the colors. So if, for example, I'm wearing a skirt full of tulips, right? I can continue to put something here, but I need to make sure it has a touch of red or green somewhere in it. So then it's gonna look very harmony. So the, the play with prints is probably what makes your wardrobe very quirky. Okay. Second, try to avoid buying one pieces. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm always suggesting to everyone. So you better buy skirt and top in the same print, but then you can just separate them and wear them in completely different looks and nobody gonna ever told you, tell you that I saw you in this uh, outfit previously, right? So buy more separates mm -hmm. and uh, don't uh, afraid to buy colors, not just print, but colors. Make sure that you have each and every color in your wardrobe because each and every, I mean, it's a statistic, but all of us have 90% of our wardrobe in black. Black. Yes, so you can't really go anywhere with that. So that's why I introduce more colors all the time, even if it's outside of your comfort zone, introduce yourself to yellow t-shirt, green shoes, a red belt, I don't know, and, and bag in some different. So later, you, later on, step by step, you will learn yourself how to be more and more adventurous with your style but as i said little print little accessory don't be afraid it doesn't matter i mean people are saying oh it's not for my age or it's not for my skin type or it's not for my complexion no there is no rules in fashion it's all about how you feel about it how brave you feel and how ready you are to break the rules. Break the rules, yeah. Break the rules, just break them. It's, honestly, there is, uh, fashion is fun, and I don't really understand why people are taking fa fashion so seriously Seriously. sometimes. You know, like putting all together the look, but it always feels like you've seen it so many times, mm -hmm. you know, and people investing into pieces which are every day in front of your face, mm -hmm. and it feels like it's old. I saw it, I don't know. I, be more adventurous. That's what also make it, gonna make you quirkier. That's fantastic. I love these tips. I'm gonna use them myself. Last but not the least, what's your favorite fashion coat? Fashion coat? Oh, oh. I have too many, I would say, but uh, as I previously mentioned, don't take fashion seriously. That's probably gonna be, I, I'm always carrying it with me and uh, whatever the opportunity fashion world is throwing at me, I'm um, like continue to have like, 
Hello, guys. It's just fun. Work out. You can do mistake. You can do whatever you want. It's just fashion. It's a it's a form of art. I would say it's also poor fashion. It's a form of expression. Expression, yeah. but for me, it's it's art. And for example, this I'm always saying as well. It's also kind of my favorite quote that I'm not uh, dressing myself. I'm painting every day when I'm dressing, right? I know exactly which colors I want to use today. I want exactly what message I want to say to people. So for me, it's, it's not just expression, it's a form of painting. That's where I'm, I'm painting. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. I'm painting myself with fashion every yeah. day. That's every Natalia day. for you. That's my quote. Yeah. <laughs> That's great, mate. Yeah. Thank you so much for Thank coming you. on the show. It's, uh, Thank you. it's fun talking to you. Always. Thank you. Yeah. And stay fashionable. Miss love. <laughs>